Last year, I made a video about the Indianapolis Colts, saying that they are the most underrated team in the NFL, because at the time, a lot of people were projecting them to be a bottom five team in football. Two of the main reasons why I believed in them so much were because I trusted in Shane Steichen as their new head coach, and because I thought they had a pretty favorable schedule. Now, if I were to make the exact same video again this year, that would come off as pretty stale. So instead, I will just say this. I am high on the Colts once again, but for different reasons and to a different degree. And if all goes as planned, they should finish this season with the coach of the year, the defensive rookie of the year, the comeback player of the year, and their first division title in a decade. My name is Bladen Kirk, and this season I will be following the Indianapolis Colts as I give quarterly updates on their journey to either being the team of destiny or a massive disappointment. But I just want to talk about what my expectations and predictions are for the Colts this year. Let's start with the elephant in the room. There are growing concerns with Anthony Richardson as his preseason performance really highlighted his accuracy issues. But for me, I'm not super worried. His ability to handle pressure and avoid sacks combined with his good decision-making skills, I think outweighs this problem. Plus, his significant impact as a runner really adds another dimension to his game. I said this last year and I'll say it again. The one-two punch of him and Jonathan Taylor is going to be a nightmare to stop. We see what Shane Steichen was able to do with Jalen Hurts and the Philadelphia Eagles in 2022. I think we will see something very similar with the Colts this year. And remember, this team was basically one game away from the playoffs with Gardner Minshew at quarterback. Now, the defensive line is where things get really exciting for me. Last year, this was in a league group against both the run and the pass, as guys like Quiddy Pei, Dio Odangbo, and Sensum Ebicom all had breakout years and played at an elite level. This year, they're adding Leatu Latu, who is my top defensive player in this last NFL draft, and he's already shown to be a beast so far in the preseason. His combination of size and quickness and technique it's going to make him a day one impact player. So even with Ebukam being on the IR right now, which does suck for them, I do think this defensive line still has the capacity to be one of, if not the best in all of the NFL. However, it is worth noting that the defensive line is going to have to play at an extremely high level because when you look at the back end of the defense, that is definitely the weakness of this team. And if anything, we're going to hold them back, it would be that group. So when it is all said and done, there are a wide range of outcomes for this team. And obviously I haven't talked about every single aspect. I haven't even mentioned the wide receivers, but I do expect this to be an 11 win Colts team. I think the highs of this organization are among the best in the NFL and will be able to carry them to their best season in recent memory. However, we'll just have to wait and see. I will be back after the first four games to recap where this team currently stands, hopefully with good news. But until then, I will catch you on the flippity flop.